All right, this is Oleg with Open Bowman. In my video today, I'm going to demonstrate you new features uh, related to uh, save a new revision command and how it works for structured data such as bill of materials. So in my previous videos, I already demonstrated you how OpenBOM new catalog item revision commands can work. So now if I am in a catalog and this is the uh, catalog which reflects my SOLIDWORKS project data, I can point on any item and I can see and create item revision. So for the purpose of uh, just simple demonstration, I can create a new revision for this item. <coughs> and a new revision is created and I can get access and I can see that this is the revision. But now what I would like to show is how this uh, revision mechanism with items and bombs will work together with the structured data. So for the purpose of this demonstration, I will go and I will uh, navigate to the bill of materials. So this is the bill of materials of a wireless router that is using this information from the schedule. So what I will be doing, I will create a new uh, revision for this uh, bill of materials. So save new revision, introduce an option to put a revision uh, node label. So that's going to be A. And I want all items, all uh, assemblies in this uh, bill of materials to get revision A. So I can use this uh, option to save revision for all levels. It's a, it's a useful option when you work and you need to introduce a baseline. Working with contract manufacturing, it's very useful. And in some other situations, such as when you start a new project, and I just created this data from SOLIDWORKS, it's a useful option to create a new revision. So I'm saving this. I'm getting an alert which says that revision from top and all sublevels BOM will be changed. And what will happen now is that Open BOM will create revisions for all uh, assemblies, sub-assemblies, and all parts. So what will happen is that effectively all data in the structure will be set to the uh, uh, this revision A. Okay, so now let's uh, take a look what uh, next uh, can we do. Let's say we are going back in the catalog and back in the catalog you see the all revisions now set to a now i'm going and i'm changing this uh, uh a, re a real retainer to the new revision so i wanted to introduce a new revision for this area retainer and we get already revisions a1 a2 that we created in the demo and now a so now i'm going to introduce a new revision to this item and that's going to be revision B1. So once done, now we have revision B1 for retainer. Now moving back to the bomb, we are going to see something interesting. So we are going to see B1 for retainer, but remember, I am in the revision, which is the latest in the bomb. Now what I will move back to the revision A. And revision A, I'm going to see this retainer with the revision A as it was set before. But now let's do something next. Let's now move back to the uh, revision, which is the latest revision of this bomb. And let's set this revision to new revision. Let's save new revision, which will be called B1. So what will happen now is that we are not making all changes in all levels like we did in the first time, but we would like to capture the new revision that was created for the, um, for the retainer. So what do you think will happen now if I will select this to B1? That will not happen. So if I will, because I need to change the revision of the assembly. So th this is the thing, because we do have a revision. Uh, we have to this PCB demo where this, uh, the Arial retainer changed the revision. But because we didn't change the revision for the uh, um, PCB demo, board that will not happen so this revision the b1 and b and a before was interchangeable so those are interchangeability rules that we can manage 
so what can we do now let's go and open this uh assembly for the uh, uh pcb board so let's go over this assembly and uh, create a new revision in this assembly so i'm creating a new revision which will be b1 so i'm not checking all of them because i want to capture the new revisions and i created this new revision b1 for this uh, assembly so i can go and i can see revision b1 and we can see that uh, i didn't arrange it so we have the a and b1 so now this is what we need we have revision b1 of the assembly because it was not interchangeable with a i can go back to this uh, assembly i see the b1 this is the new revision of the assembly uh, and now i can go and I can create the assembly new revision for the top level assembly, which will be B1. So, and uh, I do not check this box because I want to capture only revisions that will, were promoted. So I don't want to revise everything all the time. I only want to take those items and those assemblies with the revision that changed. And I click on save one, save revision. So now look what will happen. Now we do have revision B1. Uh, and uh, if I will go to this revision, I will see that now I have a PCB demo with the revision B1, the item inside that changed the real retainer, and uh, the top level assembly is the uh, revision B1. So that is how now the new mechanism of revision control works with OpenBOM and it allows you to set revisions for all items granular in catalogs and uh bill of materials now going back to my uh <clears throat> going back to my catalog i can see all this information reflecting here because this is my item for my top level bomb if i'm going to item revision i see all these revisions here so and if i want to see what revisions are and get all information to this revision i can always open the revision uh <clears throat> table and I can get access to all this revision. And of course, if the information changed, you'll see this information changed and the file changed, you will see the file changed as well. So that was Oleg with the new mechanism of uh, revision management in OpenBOM. And uh, stay uh, tuned. The new functionality is coming to OpenBOM very soon in the next release. And I will see you in the next video. Thank you very much.